Good evening, viewers, and welcome to Glenn's last post. It seems that the uh, fickle finger of fate has poked me firmly and squarely in the chest. I headed down to Foodland yesterday, and out the front there was a little desk with two young, good-looking continental types, Damon and Rahul. And they seemed to see something in me and they called me over. They plugged me into this, an e-machine, they called it, a personality reader. And I just blew it off the charts. They said I was exactly who they were looking for. With my experience in the media, I was perfect for teaching the young movementarians a little about life. They said, don't worry about your flak, we'll sell that. We'll look after your pension and you will want for nothing. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the odd scratchy or two. That'll keep me going. Darren's going to stay with his auntie down in Sale. He'll be well looked after. And uh, it looks like my life has taken a turn. It's going to be very interesting. And you never know, you might see me on a current affair again someday. Apparently, current affairs been looking to do a story on the movementarians. And they know my contacts in Channel 9. I'm going to be the media liaisons. Now, I've had a huge response to my chopper post. And I'm gonna leave you with a few words. I phoned chopper a few years ago before he died. And uh, I wanted to apologize for cutting his ear off. And you know what he said to me? He said, Glenn, it's all water under the bridge. And I think there's something in that for all of us. Thanks, viewers. And I'll see you soon on A Current Affair. I'm going to miss this place.